Hey everyone, this is Kevin from Plus One Plus One, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing um, of a kind of an older set, but it's one of my favorites. It's Avacyn Restored. So um, let's uh, go ahead and get into this guy in here. I'm actually kind of happy I've never been able to actually uh, open one of these when I started playing. Ooh, that's a Ooh, little poster. Ah. Okay. I love opening the booster boxes. It's like Christmas all over again. For me, I'm kind of hoping to get a Gristle Brand or the Cavernous Souls out of here. The Cavernous Souls is not even a, uh, it's not even a mythic. So we, if I'm lucky, I'm maybe I'll be able to get like a couple of them. So, uh, Thunderbolt, Wild Geist, Geist Trappers, Butcher's Ghoul, Stamper, Great Exchange. Spectral Guards. The target player gets a joint assault, ghost form, necrobite, stone ride, appetite for brains, I love the title of the card. Yep, you got a token. Riders of Gav was it Gav Gavany, I think that is. Vigilance Rider of Gavany, but oh control. Coup. Ooh, Angel Token. I can always use Angel Tokens. And the next guy. Having a little scab. Skull Fiend, I actually really like him. Let's see. Uncanny Speed. Predator's Gambit. Grounded. That's your revolt. Diagraphed Escort. Surf Sanctuary. Ooh. I dig it. Let's see. This is a zombie. Oh, break. Gloom Widow. Tandem Lookout. Lightning Mar Ma Mauler. Ooh, Demon Lord of Ashmouth. I love the demons. I love, I love the angels and the demons in these sets. They're among like my favorite cards in the whole world. Outwit, Hunter Ghoul, Voice of Prov uh, Provinces, Wind Crafter, Renegade Demon, Warland Ranger, Swan Pignati, Moon Geist, Mass Appeal, Another Lightning Molar, Lone Revenant. Here. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh, ooh, shiny. Where is Zealous Strike. Target creature gets a plus two, plus two. Gains first strike until the end of turn. Ooh, I like shiny. Even if a card's not all that great, I still I just like having it in foil. It makes me happy. <laughs> if only I could open the pack. I swear it just has extra glue. Let's see. Uh, Rot Crown Ghoul. Angelic Wall. Natural End. Mist Raven. Another Voice of Provinces. Necrobite. Sheltering Ward. Call to Serve. Ooh, Hires of Stormkirk. I actually really like that one. I know, I know it's only a common, but I really, really like that one. See. Gold Knight Commander. Gang of Devils. Triumph of Cruelty. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent discards a card. If you control a creature with the greatest power, are tied for the greatest power. Ooh. Descent into Madness. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a despair counter on Descent into Madness. 
then each player exiles X permanents he or she controls and or cards from his or her hand, where X is the number of despair counters on Descent into Madness. Ooh, I like it, mischief. Ooh, shiny. Let's see, favorable wins. Creatures you control with flying get a plus one, plus one. Right on. And let's go ahead and put that in the pile. So I have one Mythic Rare so far, and more cards that for some reason I can't open. Thunderbolt. One of guys, Guys Trappers, Mr. Ghoul, Scroll of Avacyn. Is that even a draw card? I actually haven't seen this one yet, and it's a common. I... Green Chill. Skies, Curse Break, Into the Void, Triumph of Cruelty, Latch Seeker, Latch Seeker is unblockable, Ooh, uh, Sigarda, Host of Herons, Flying Hexproof, Spells and Abilities your opponents control, Can't Cause you to Sacrifice Permanence, I would dig it. And another Mythic Rare for the collection. Uncanny Speed, Lair Delve, Cloud Shift, Rod Scrapper, Bug Explorer, Nightshade Peddler, That Revolt, Midvist uh, Protector, Polluted Dead, the Wolver Avenger, Homicidal is a Seclusion, <laughs> Ooh, Archangel, Flying Vigilance for 5 5, I dig it. Here we got Dead Eye Navigator. Oh, cool. Ooh, I see shiny. Oh, the Scrapskin Drake, flying. A scrapskin Drake. It can, yeah, it can block only creatures with flying. But you know, it's shiny. Trusted Force Mage, Midnight Duelist, the Guys of Fire, Ghoul Flesh, the Cruin Striker, Seraph Sanctuary, right on, Timberland Guild, Demolish, Vanguard Shield, Scrapskin Drake, is a U Spirit, Evernight Shade, here. Ooh, Terminus. Put all creatures on the bottom of their owner's libraries and, and a miracle cost. Ooh, I dig that. Let's see, I might, I'm gonna put that one aside. How did I dig it? I, I'm loving this set. This set actually came out just a little bit before I actually started playing, but Ooh, Pathbreaker Worm. I still get excited over the uh, just these cards. It's, it kind of it's back when I first started, and you know, and there's amazing cards in the set. I even like the artwork in a lot of these too. Who defied death? Angel of Jubilation, flying. Other non-black creatures you control get a plus one plus one. Players can't gain life or sacrifice creatures to cast spells or activate abilities. I dig it. Ooh, and shiny. Ooh. I like that shiny. Angel of Glory's Rise. Flying. When Angels of Glory's Rise enters the battlefield, exile all zombies, then return all human creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh. And I like that one a lot. Oh, oh shiny pile. Here, flowering limber knot, malicious intent, god shield mate, haunted ghoul, abundant growth. I like that. Let's grab her. Ooh, guy snatch, peel from reality, yeah. petrol prison, defang, 
blood artist. Devout chaplain. Tormentor's trident. And you another mythic. Exile the top card of your library. If it's a permanent card, you may put it onto the battlefield. If you do, repeat this process. Ooh, I dig it. It's a high mana cost, but still kind of neat. I, I like it. Open. Ah, there we go. Let's see here. Thriving Valiant. Guys of Fire. Just a Force Mage. Righteous Blow. Scalding Devil. Wandering Wolf. Borderland, Borderland Ranger. Essence Harvest. Alchemist Presence. Limit Geist. Thunderous Wrath. I love having this. I'll do five damage for a miracle cost. Love it. Creatures of Flying. Can't block creatures you control. Tandem Lookout. Summer Sage. Add three mana of any one color to your mana pool. Spends only to cast creature spells. Oh, I dig that. That's awesome. I like a good mana fixer. Seraph of Dawn. I like her. And I'm starting to get into that point where you're getting those repeats. Oh, Dread of the Dead. Angel's Mercy. Getting seven alive. Into the Void. Commander's Authority. Just, of course, just when I say I'm getting the duplicates, I start getting the cards I haven't read yet. Ooh, Lunar Mystic. Whenever you cast an instant spell, you may pay one. If you do, draw a card. Oh, not bad. Fiend, or, or souls, soul Gauge Fiend, Band Razors, Rock Town Ghoul, Dread Waters, Mass Components, Tang, Ooh, Pillar Flame, Unhallowed Pact, Spectral Prison, <laughs> Aggravate. <laughs> I, I love the name of some of these cards. Let's see, Divine Deflection. Prevent the next X damage that would be dealt to you and or permanence you control this turn. If damage is prevented this way, Divine Deflection deals that much damage to target creature or player. Ooh. Still haven't uh, found the cards that I'd, that I'd really like to see. You know, like an Avacyn or a Gristlebrand. Right, just blue. There's bracelets. Farbog Explorer. Wandering Wolf. Leap of Faith. Somberwald Vigilante. Essence Harvest. Flaming Prowess. Hellgeist. Triumph of Ferocity. Uh, Reforge the Soul. Each player discards his or her hand and draws seven cards and it has a miracle cost of two. I dig it. It's mischief. Laird Delve. Let's see. Middle Swine. Crept Creeper. Oak. Uh, that's some interesting artwork. Let's see. A Glad Shield Mate. Scroll of Avacyn. Henwear Lancer. Raging Poltergeist. Peel from Reality. Curse Break. Ooh, Emancipation Angel. As patient enters the battlefield, return a permanent you control to its owner's hand. Corpse Traitors. Fettergeist and Captain of the Mist. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, untap Captain of the Mist. You may pay two, tap, you may tap or untap target permanent. Cool, I dig it. There. 
Oh, Nettle Swine. Craft Creeper with its weird rigging artwork. Grounded. Crunch Striker, Ghost Form, Zealot Strike, and Hallowed. Now I'm getting the Devil's Human Cleric, Trident. Silver Blade Padalon, Soulbound. It's paired to another creature. Both creatures get double strike. Nice. I dig it. All right, so at this point we're starting to get those doubles, so I'm gonna start moving a little bit faster for you guys. That way you're not, you know, getting bored on the video and having seen commentary on the same cards that we've already looked at. Let's see here. Control formalities. There's now draw outfit. Mental agony. Another emancipation angel. Your frailty, Fettergeist, Burn at the Stake. As an additional cost to cast Burn at the Stake, tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Burn at the Stake deals damage to target creature or player equal to three times the number of creatures tapped this way. Ooh, I like it. Anything that ticks off the people I'm playing with, it just... It's, it's satisfying. Even if you don't win the game, it's still kind of satisfying. <laughs> Ghoul, and Dark Wall. All right, let's get back. Go straight to the interesting cards here. Ooh, Moon Sliver Spear. Equipped creature has first strike. Whenever equipped creature attacks, put a four-four white angel creature token onto the battlefield. Ooh, mischief. Ooh, and shiny. I see shiny. Wild Defiance. Whenever a creature you control becomes a target of an instant or sorcery spell, that creature gets plus three, plus three to the end of turn. Ooh. I don't like shinies. Okay, search like E. Pathbreaker Worm. File, demolish, sleep of faith, tomorrow bats, haunted guardian defender, first strike, two one, two mana cost. Whatever say Cather's Crusade, whenever a creature enters a battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one on each creature you control. I like that. That's cool. Sacrificer, guys. Seraph. Scroll of Bristlebrand. Midvast Protector. Blessings of Nature. Distribute four plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures with a miracle cost of one. I like it. And we also have a Desolate Lighthouse at the back. Add one colorless to your mana pool. Pay one red, one blue, one colorless, draw a card, then discard a card. That'd be, that'd be good. Let's see what else they got in here. Let's see here. Bluffalo Connoisseur. Big Distraction. Seraph. Abundant Growth. Mass Appeal, Holy Justifier, Reign of Thorns, ooh, yay, Mythic Rares. So he has a Crater Hoof Bohemoth, Haste. Okay, when, they enter, when that guy enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain Trample and get plus X plus X until the end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. Ooh, he's nasty. I like it. That's a big creature. He's a high mana cost, but I'd find a way to make him work. So you battle him. So you natural land. So you ghostly flicker. Crystal so brand. Gold Knight Redeemer. Gold Knight Redeemer enters the battlefield. You gain two life for each other creature you control. Wow. Blessings of nature. Defy death. Return target creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. If it's an angel, put two plus one plus one counters on it. 
Ooh, I might have to add that one to my angel deck. Let's see, Conjurer's Closet. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile a target creature. You control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. Ooh. Uh, I love I love playing cards from the graveyard. You know, your opponent just thinks that you know they dealt with it and it's gone, and then bring it back and they have to deal with it again. Ooh. Dice trappers, Lair delve, this soul cage fiend. Hold it packed. Ooh, Demonic Taskmaster. Is he flying? At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature other than Demonic Taskmaster. It doesn't, you know, it's, it's when you when you have him on the battlefield, you're eventually going to go down to one creature, which doesn't, which sounds like a, like a terrible thing, but I actually have this card in my demon deck, and, you know, he's actually pulled me out of a lot of tight jams, even though it's just one creature on the battlefield. Ooh, Angel's Tomb. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Angel's Tomb become a 3-3 white angel artifact creature with flying until the end of turn. I like that. Uh, this is one of my favorite cards. Uh, Demonic Rising. Enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, if you control exactly one creature, put a 5-5 black demon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. I, I love that card. It's like having an insurance policy on your battlefield. If someone, you know, board wipes your creatures, you know, you still get something on your next turn. Let's see, guys of fire, such little connoisseur, fleeting, uncanny, abundant, zealous, arms, sheltering word, glooming widow. Ooh, we got another angel's tomb. See, bow, uh, bower passage. I like that one a lot. Druid's um, what's it? Repository. So whenever a creature you control attacks, put a charge counter on Druid's Repository. Remove a, a charge counter from the card. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. That's not, that's not bad. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember what Planeswalker is in here. I see that there's tipples on one of the packages. I think he is in the set. I mean, although he's not like the greatest planeswalker in the world, I'd be really happy to have him. You know, he's just one of those cards I've always tried to wanted to build a deck around, but anytime I do, it just never quite works out. <laughs> the Gold Knight Commander, Builder's Blessing, ooh, Mythic, Flying. You may cast. Was it? Mistalo Griffin from Exile. That's pretty cool. I think I have a creature in your back pocket. There's guys. Uh, serve, Spectral Prison, Unhallowed Pact, Angelic. Uh, let's see. Ormans. Creature gets a plus two plus two, has flying, and is a white angel in addition to his other color types. I can dig it. And the Thunderous Wrath. Let's see here. Player. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Enchantment. Enchant creature. You control enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets a plus two plus two and has flying. I like it. It's it's mean, but I dig it. Made special safeguards. And guys, death wind, angels mercy. Vessel of endless rest. Vessel of endless rest enters the battlefield with a target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Stern mentor. Arcane melee. Instant and sorcery spells cost two less to cast. Nice. I like that. Alright, so right now I'm getting to that point where I just want to see 
let me uh you know avicen or <laughs> or one of the those really big creatures that you you know or even even the uh the land that i would like to have but it's taking a little bit i hope i don't go like all these packages and not get at least one of those three The bladed bracers, one and wolf, leap of faith, human frailty, destroy target human creature, that's cool for one. Okay. Dual casting, chant creature, chant creature has pay one, tap, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy. Nice. Ooh, shiny, I see shiny. Uh, trusted Force Mage, a Soul Bond. As long as you, as long as Trusted Force Mage is paired with another creature, each of those gets a plus one plus one. It's common, but you know, really pretty. All right, so we're down to four, five, six, seven. We have down to our last eight packs, and hopefully we can pull one one of the cards that I, would be really cool to pull. Even for the video. Let's see here. Uh, thorns. Banishing stroke with a miracle, but target artifact creature or enchantment on the bottom of its owner's library. Ooh, Herald of War. Flying. Whenever Herald of War attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Angel spells and human spells you cast cost one less to cast for each plus one plus one counter on Herald of War. Wow. I, that one's cool. Let's see here, searchlight guys, abundant, as in harvest driver, emerald vessel, rush of blood, Let's see Malva twins, and let's see otherworld atlas. Put a charge counter on Otherworld Atlas. Each player draws a card for each charge counter on Otherworld Atlas. Hmm, interesting. And I see shiny. Those are shiny. Ah. Let's see here. Raging Poltergeist. Cool. Another it's common, but still cool, shiny. I like it. Here, blood flow, kind of sore, sense, moon guys, later, rush of blood, new spirit, barter, gloom surgeon. The combat would be dealt to gloom surgeon, prevent that damage and exile that many cards from the top of your library. Oof. Oh, oh shiny, shiny, shiny. Let's see here. Let's see, is that Howlgeist? Creatures with power less than Howlgeist power can't block it. And it has Undying. That's cool. Yeah. A little bit of a higher amount of cost to come out turn six, but you know, I, you know, it's shiny. So, at the very least, I got shiny. So, yeah. Let's see how. Give me something good. Give me something super cool. Oh, Blood Artist. Gang of Devils. Oh, we got another Archangel. That's cool. Soul of the Harvest. Let's see. Trample. Whenever another non token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. 6 6. Cool. Coming down to the wire before I can get one of those really super cool cards. That we're hoping for. Scored. Our shield, Scalding. Hey, Angelic Armor Prince. Our Seeker. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh, Mythic. Let's see here. Bruna, Light of Al. As an Albaster? Albaster? Flying Vigilance. Let's see. When Bruna, Light of Albaster, enters. Oh, sorry. Attacks or blocks, you may attach it to any number of auras. 
on the battlefield and you may put onto the battlefield attached to it any number of R cards and uh, that would enchant it from your graveyard and, and or your hand. See here. That's kind of cool. Flying Vigilance 5-5. Five, five. I dig it. That's cool. Alright, down to the last three. Dreadwaters, uh, Pillar of Flame, Joint Assault, Ghost Form, ooh, Good Night Redeemer, Horse Claw, Stern Mentor, Revenge of the Hunted, Sorcery, until the end of turn, target creature gets a plus six, plus six, gains trample, and all creatures able to block it this turn do so, in a miracle cost. Nice. No. Here. We'll, we'll save the one with the gristle brand artwork to last and hopefully you get lucky. Let's see, uh, da -da -da. All right, Middle Swine, Griff, Exas Protector, Polluted Dead, Portland Ranger, Overnight, Haunted Guardian. Ooh, I see Shiny already. I see a Restoration Angel, Flash Flying. When Restoration Angel enters the battlefield, you may exile target non land. Uh, sorry, non-angel creature card. Then return that card to the battlefield under your control. It's neat. Okay, put that in the pile. And I see a shiny of Reign of Thorns. Choose one or more. Destroy target artifact. Destroy target enchantment. And or destroy target land. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Alright, last one. Trappers, Lucky Delve, Mist Raven, mm -hmm. Grass, Scalding, Watery Wolf, Land, Druid's Familiar, Into the Void, Appetite for Brains. That's just a cool name for a card. <laughs> oh, and we got him. That's kind of cool. Tybalt, the Fiend of bl uh, the Blooded Fiend, or Fiend Blooded. I'm tripping. See, plus one. Draw a card and then discard a card at random. Minus four. Tybalt, the Fiend Blooded deals damage equal to the number of cards in target player's hand to that player. Minus six. Gain control of all creatures until the end of turn. Untap them, they gain haste until the end, end of turn. You know, even though I didn't get a lot of the, like, the creatures that I was hoping to get, I pulled a Planeswalker. I know he's not the exactly the most favorite of Planeswalkers that people like. You know, people would say that he kind of sucks, and he yeah, he kind of does. <laughs>